Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Liberals explode over who Trump is bringing back to White House as chief of staff. Within the Trump administration, nobody is immune to the antics and conjecture of the press, especially when it comes to higher-profile staff members. One, in particular, is Hope Hicks. She previously served as the White House Communications Director as well as the White House Director of Strategic Communications. While in her position she testified before Congress and served as the longest-serving aide prior to her resignation. Now there are talks and gossip surrounding the potential of her coming back, but only time will tell. The Daily Caller reported. Rumors of a possible Hope Hicks return to the White House didn't escape the ears of President Trump who on Friday avoided a direct answer but complimented his former White House communications director. Oh really? Trump coyly responded when a reporter on Air Force One asked if Hicks could return. Well, I don't know. I love Hope. She's great. I hope that, I've been hearing little things like that. I think everybody misses it, the president said before getting in a slam at the press for their role in the turnover. You people exhaust a lot of people. They come in full of life and vim and vigor and then they're exhausted and then they get their breath. Frankly, Hope is great and so are many of the other people and they went out. But many people would like to come back. Look, there is nothing more exciting than what we're doing." Vanity Fair reported on Friday the Hicks is a dark horse candidate to potentially replace John Kelly as chief of staff. Two sources say Hicks's name is being discussed inside the White House, wrote Vanity Fair's Gabriel Sherman. According to a source close to Hicks, she has told people she is open to the job if Trump asked, but is not pursuing it. When I reached out, she declined to comment. While The Hill reported, Trump's comments on route to his golf club in Bedminster, New Jersey, for the weekend came after Vanity Fair reported Friday that Hicks was being discussed as a possible replacement for White House Chief of Staff John Kelly. Hicks, who resigned from her position as White House Communications Director in February, is among several names being floated for the position and she has told people she'd be interested in the job if it was offered to her, Vanity Fair reported. The outlet, However, noted that Hicks has said she would not pursue the role. The report follows one from the Wall Street Journal on Thursday that said that Kelly is expected to leave his role in the Trump administration by the end of July. Kelly could leave his role as early as this week or after Trump returns from a scheduled trip to Europe next month, the newspaper reported. The White House denied the report on Thursday. I spoke to the president who refuted this article. He said it is absolutely not true and that it is fake news. White House spokeswoman Lindsey Walters told reporters. Trump on Friday denied that he and Kelly have had a tense relationship, despite recent reports indicating that the chief of staff has loosened his grip amid a worsening relationship with the president. We have a very good relationship. He's a wonderful man. John Kelly, Forrest Tower, wonderful man. Don't forget, this is a big change for him. This has not been an easy change for him. We have a very, very good relationship, Trump told reporters. That I can't tell you," Trump added when asked how long Kelly would continue to serve in the administration. But I can say we've had a very good relationship, and we've achieved a lot, I like John a lot. I like him and I respect him. The Journal reported that the top two candidates to replace Kelly, should he leave, are Office of Management and Budget Chief Mick Mulvaney and Vice President Pence's Chief of Staff, Nick Ayers. Hicks was one of Trump's longest-serving and closest aides before exiting the White House earlier this year. She previously worked for the Trump Organization before joining Trump's campaign when he launched it in 2015. Murmurings of Hicks being floated as a potential chief of staff comes the same week that former Fox News executive Bill Shine reportedly accepted a position in the White House communications shop. Hicks worked in the White House around the same time that Anthony Scaramucci had his 10-day stint before he left which caused a lot of controversies. Yet, she remained and continued as the steady hand in the administration. It is clear that she is well respected by the president as well as his staff. She would be an asset to anyone, including the administration. If she were to return, then the press would no doubt go crazy. However, it would be to the benefit of the American people. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.